Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. SMIC holds 14 nanometers, 28 nanometers, and other mature chip mass production processes, which can meet most of the domestic demand. In order to increase chip production capacity, SMIC has built a 12-inch wafer fab in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Tianjin. Once these factories are fully put into operation, SMIC's production capacity will be doubled. However, there is news on the internet that the expansion of 28 nanometers production will be stopped. What is going on? SMIC officially announced that foreign media, things are getting bigger. The 28 nanometers process can achieve higher integration and lower power consumption, making the chip achieve a good balance between performance and energy consumption. This is very important for scenarios such as mobile devices and high-performance computing. Not only that, after years of development and maturity in the manufacturing process, the 28 nanometers process has good reliability and stability, which can guarantee the quality and working life of the chip. Although TSMC and Samsung compete fiercely in high-end chips, mature chips such as 28 nanometers are the best demand areas. The market has a great dependence on 28 nanometers, especially for some low-end application fields. The 28 nanometers process is still an important choice. The layout of the 28 nanometers process can meet this market demand and expand SMIC's market share. Increasing the layout of 28 nanometers can enhance SMIC's reserves and competitiveness in process technology and provide greater advantages for SMIC to win the future. SMIC has four 12-inch fabs under construction located in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Tianjin. The progress of these factories is different, and it may not take a few years for them to be put into operation, which will make greater contributions to SMIC's production capacity increase. However, there is news on the internet that SMIC will stop the expansion of 28 nanometers production. What is going on? According to news on the internet, SMIC stopped expanding production because of huge investment and updating depreciated equipment. The credibility of online news still needs to be judged with open eyes. According to SMIC's official announcement, it stated on the Interactor platform that SMIC Capital is expected to enter mass production in the second half of the year. This is SMIC's 12-inch wafer fab in Beijing. If SMIC can successfully promote the project and successfully mass-produce it in the second half of the year, it can basically dispel the rumors that the rumors on the internet may not be true. And it also has great benefits for SMIC to compete in the 28 nanometers market. The 28 nanometers process is one of the mainstream process technologies at present, and SMIC's expansion of the scale of the 28 nanometers process can enhance its technological competitiveness. Through continuous improvement and optimization of the process, SMIC can provide better and more reliable chip products, attracting more customers to choose SMIC as a partner. With the rapid development of the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, automotive electronics and other fields, the demand for chips with high performance and low power consumption continues to increase. SMIC's ability to expand the 28 nanometers process can better meet market demand and provide more advanced and efficient chip solutions. 
Therefore, SMIC's move to expand the 28 nanometers process will bring more business opportunities and competitive advantages to the company. Some foreign media said, things are getting worse, and SMIC is continuously strengthening its 28 nanometers chip production capacity, which will allow China to reduce imports of mature foreign chips. Customs data show that in the first six months of this year, China reduced its imports of chips by 51.6 billion compared with the same period last year. During 2022, China will cancel 97 billion chip orders. This year's order cuts will be even greater, and it may break the record. It is expected that more than 100 billion chip orders will be cancelled by the end of the year. Judging from the data, China is gradually reducing its dependence on imported chips, especially in some key areas. China's chip industry is experiencing rapid development and adjustment. With the rise of local chip companies and technological progress, China may gradually realize the ability to replace imported chips in some areas, thereby reducing the demand for imported chips. It should be noted that the cancellation of chip orders does not mean that China's demand for chips has declined, but that China is accelerating the development of its local chip industry. China is still the world's largest chip consumer market. Not only Chinese manufacturers are vigorously deploying chip production capacity, but foreign companies also want to continue investing in the Chinese market. For example, Micron Technology wants to invest 4.3 billion yuan in the expansion of its 11N factory. In order to win cooperation in the Chinese market, the CEOs of Intel, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA, three U.S. companies, persuaded the Biden team, unwilling to see the U.S. continue to expand restrictions on Chinese chips. Otherwise, it will be even more difficult for U.S. companies to obtain business opportunities in the Chinese market. Sooner or later, Chinese chip manufacturers such as SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor will fully promote the mass production of various chip manufacturing processes. Not only mature chips, but also high-end chips will become the goal of China's future development. Before that, what SMIC needs to do is to work steadily and steadily, step by step, and finally realize the accumulated accumulation and move towards the distant future. If you agree, please like it, welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.